Okay, hey guys, uh, this is CH Piper again. Uh, this is another uh, tutorial video. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you some uh, commands and hotkeys and ways to manage your uh, troops to basically speed up the processes and make your micro faster. So, I'll start from the basics. Um, essentially, you want to group um, infantry together. Well, that's what I do. Uh, I also group archers and I sometimes group uh, cavalry. But the first trick I'm going to show you is making groups. So basically, to make a group, um, for example, the infantry group, I'll hold down the control button and click the urbans as such. And we press number one for group one. Uh, this enables us to um, choose a team formation or a group formation and we go down to the bottom right hand icon and we click single line and that's quite a good formation for uh, infantry ba basically they're uh, the front lines um, we can see that we have four urbans and we have a legionary uh, first cohort now one versus one uh, Legionary cohorts aren't as good as Urban's, but Legionary first cohort has a morale effect. So basically, a radius around the uh, Legionary first gives surrounding units um, greater morale. So, in all fairness, we want to get this unit in the center of this formation because if we put um, our archers in there as well. They would also get benefit from that uh, morale uh, unit. So we should really um, have this unit in the middle of this formation. So what we do is like we can ungroup uh, infantry, and what happens is you can place where you want the legionary cohort by when you click it. For the formation, for example, I have two urbans on the left side, legionary in the middle, and two urbans on the right, and we can group this again, and we see that's just moved into the middle. So that's a good little trick there to get your um, formations bang on. Okay, the next command is using commands to select uh, infantry or unit types so if you wanted to select all infantry regardless of whether they're in groups it's all it's the control and then i button and you can see that also selects the peasants to select all um missile troops control and m to select all cavalry control c and to select uh, all troops, control all. And these commands are pretty useful um, if you're in the middle of a battle and perhaps it's 50 50 and you want to have everything attacking in one area, you can control all or control I for infantry, and that just brings everything to attack where you want, it, where you want them to attack. I've also said in previous um, tutorials when you group, Trips together and do a mass attack. Uh, they will fall their own. They won't all attack in the same way. So that you have to be careful when you use when you attack uh, using uh, groups like this that they follow the right orders. So what we'll do is we'll line these trips up as we want them. And now we'll put our missile troops below. We'll get all these guys' information. And we'll have a, put our peasants into loose formation. 
and we're doing control all control cavalry rather that selects cavalry and what we'll do is we'll put our light cav in a group as well don't have to but just for this tutorial I will okay the next uh, part of the tutorial for example see if you have uh, groups like this but you want to for example you want to save the legionary first cohort and only use urbans to attack you can control and then click the urbans double click on the urbans and that highlights every available urban unit same with the archers you can double click on the archers uh, double click on the regular archers uh, using control double click and that will only select regular archers that are available so we've got control M that would select the auxiliary as well but a select then control double click only selects a regular so basically control and double click will select only the same units same with like cavalry as well control uh, double click selects praetorian but not the general same with equities as well so that's uh, that's really handy um, for when you have some cavalry in groups and some not in groups it can be very helpful so what we'll do is we'll start this battle we can press the space bar and that shows uh, where the units are going to the formation when they get to their destinations and what we can do is we can highlight everything like this and then use the arrow buttons like this and that basically moves the army around but keeps the same formation so that's a really good tip also we can move the entire army forward and back like this and that can keep your formations uh, in line okay the next thing I'm going to show you is using hotkeys if you want to improve your micro uh, it's quite important that you use hotkeys so what I'll do is we'll pause this for a second pressing the P for pause and I'll show you some hotkeys so basically hotkeys are one uh, button commands that um, basically control uh, infantry so instead of you right clicking down here for example wedge uh, guard mode you can just press for example guard mode I can press D and that gives them guard mode so if these cavalry go in for a charge want to pull out I can press D quickly and they'll instantly go into guard mode as opposed to having to scroll down to the bottom um, a trick to using guard, the hotkeys is try and use buttons that are close together um, the default on the hotkeys is something like um, R is run uh, I think C is guard mode uh, wedges F. Uh, I used to play a lot of first person shooters um, and you'd always use W to run D D uh, A and S as commands so automatically my left hand is on those buttons just because I play a lot of Battlefield 2 in the past so I've changed my hotkeys to suit me better now so what I do is I put uh, guard mode to D guard mode to D, I've got um, fire at will set to E I've got the special ability set to A and I've got loose formation set to Q and I've also got um, run a uh, walk to run set to W so all the buttons are really close together so it means that I can use the hotkeys a lot faster which is really beneficial so for example we'll unpause this and we'll press E to give them a uh, peeler and instead of uh, me having to go down to press a button there they just automatically um, go into uh, fire at will mode and again we'll select uh, the archers auxiliary and we can press A to give them fire uh, 
you might want to um, put that unit quickly into Testudo, but just press A. Get the archers out of fire at will. Uh, rather, uh, fire button, just press A. Cavalry, D, and these guys go into guard mode. So it is really beneficial. For example, see if I was to um, select Praetorians. Wedge formation um, A. It just speeds up the pro It gives you a, like a millisecond or a couple of milliseconds advantage. And I, that's the whole point of uh, Rome Total War. You you never really get if you're playing good players. You never really get a, a massive advantage. But it's just the case of all these little small things, all the little small advantages, using all of them, and small advantages add up to a big advantage. And that's how you become a good player in the game. You just have to make the best of all the advantages. So here again, cavalry's gone in. We want to pull them out, D. And we double click to go out. So that just shows you how fast uh, that was. If I was to like, attack again, like that, these guys going for the charge. They pull out, I've got to go down to press D and then throw. So it just takes like maybe it's half a second more. So those are some really good tips on how to manage the um, army. So that rounds up the tutorial. I hope uh, you've enjoyed the tutorial and you've taken away something from it. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, and this is CH Piper uh, signing off.